Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Golden Castle in Gloucestershire who've kindly allowed us to come and film a review of this. It's the Swift Sprite Super Quattro FB, quite a title. So what do we need to know about this caravan? Well, this is a six berth caravan aimed at families. It is eight feet wide and it's on a twin axle. It's worth mentioning that the Sprite range is the entry level of the Swift manufacturer's caravans and they start at around £19,000. This is in effect one of their top end ones of the Sprite range and it comes in at £24,500. But it's a good range of value caravans. In terms of this one though, as I say, eight feet wide, the Sprite range is also available in a width of seven feet and five inches if you're not looking at something quite so big. In terms of its length, this caravan is seven metres and 98 centimetres and it's going to come in with an MTPLM of 1,704 kilograms, but it's going to give you a really good payload of 180 kilograms, which is perfect if you are a family of six, you're going to need that payload. So let's start at the front. We've got a plain white front, obviously it is entry level, so we're not seeing a coloured front locker here. Underneath though, this is where we're going to find storage for our gas. We've got this good three dark windows and sunroof that's standard across the Swifts. Again, nice front end. And we see that the caravan is based on the Alco chassis and hitch. It doesn't have ATC as standard though on this. And it also doesn't have a solar panel as standard on the roof. Although you can have a solar panel fitted as an option. I'm going to start where I always start and that's on the near side. So we'll go down. Now there's no gas point on this Sprite but you can have it fitted as an option and some dealers do do a dealer special based on this and they generally have extras such as that. In terms of the decals, we can see we've got like a, a burnt orange and slightly golden colour is probably the best way to describe it. We've got our first window here looking into that lounge area. And then as I come down, we've got a one piece door. There's no window in that, which is pretty standard across most of ent the entry level caravans. And then we've got a nice LED light though above. So on a night time, if you've got that awning out, it's going to illuminate your awning. Or if not, if you know awning, it'll help you find your way back on an evening time. As I venture down, now we can see here, we've got the vents for the Dometic fridge and freezer. So we'll see that when we go inside. And then we've got two 14 inch alloy wheels, as I say, twin axle. So we've got the two 14 inches there. A little bit further down, we've got a single window. And then as I carry on down, we've got here a large window. This overlooks the fixed side bed, which we're going to again see inside. And then we've got a storage locker here because we do have access to the storage under that bed. That's the near side. Let's head around now and have a look at the back of the Sprite. So at the rear of the Sprite Super Quattro, as we can see, it's a large back end with it being eight feet wide. It's plain white. I do like the molded bumpers on the Swift. I think that's quite a nice feature. This has got the pre-installation of the two-lay bike carrier for if you want to take your bikes. We've got the grab handles for manoeuvring. And then last but not least, we've got the light clusters as well. So that's the rear of the Sprite. Let's go and have a look on the offside. So on the offside, it's a little bit difficult for me to fully get down, but I'll do my best today. We start first of all here with another window looking into the lounge. And down here, we're going to find our water filling point. So that's where you can put the aquarel and feed water into the caravan. As we head down, we find another window, which is looking into the dianette area on this uh, Sprite. Below it, there's the vent for the Truma airblown heating. And then further back, we're going to find the battery box, which is where you're going to plug, it, plug in your electric hookup. And right down at the end, we find the toilet cassette and the flush filler for that external flush. So that is the offside of the Sprite Super Quattro FB. That summarizes the exterior of the caravan. What we'll do next 
is we'll go inside and have a look to see what's on offer in there. So I'll see you inside. So here we are in the lounge area of the Super Quattro FB. And with it being eight feet wide, we're going to get a really good size lounge and we do. To be fair, this is a nice lounge. It's a good size. And if you have got six people, it's certainly going to be adequate for all of them. Because it is wide and it is a long caravan, we find that these sofas are five foot 11 in length. So that's a good length indeed. And if you're going to use this as a bedroom area, this will convert into a bed that is seven foot four in width this way and five foot 11 in length that way. So this is a really good size bed. Furnishings, it's sort of a, a blacky, a blacky gray color maybe is probably the best way to describe it. The curtains, I would say they're probably trying to be a copper color is the best way to describe them, but they do go well with the tartan cushion, which has got the orange back, a burnt orange type color. So a nice color scheme and it's probably quite uh, family friendly. It's not going to show up uh, marks or spillages and things. Same with this fabric. It's a nice thick fabric and the seats feel well bolstered. So good in terms of those respects. Up here now, because this is entry level, we find we do have fly screens, but instead of concertina blinds, we get these roll down ones. So that's part of the entry level. But again, these are they're good blinds. Absolutely no problems with those. Um, the windows, we do still have the three large windows that open. Above, we have the fixed sunroof. And then above that, again, we have a further very large roof light, which is going to open up to get air circulating in those warmer months. Now up here, we've got a locker. This does slide out here, so you can use this to eat at if you want, or there is a larger table for if you're dining as a family. And then within this chest, we have a slide out drawer within it. So good for storage there. And then up, up front here, we've got a plug socket. We've got a 12 volt socket here and we've got the aerial. So you are going to be putting your television up here on a stand for the family to watch. On the other side, now we've got a USB charger there and we've got two blanked plates. So I think maybe for a family, you might want more uh, USB chargers. So you could always ask your dealer to put another USB in there for you. So that isn't going to be a problem. So there's some good space here. Storage wise, we do have storage under the sofas. So you're going to be able to put bits in there. And then as a stand up, we can see the locker space. Now these front lockers, these open this way and give you a little bit of storage. But then these ones, these are good size lockers. And as you can see there, they're a good height. In terms of the depth, they're fairly shallow. They're not massively deep, but then if this was to come out further, it does intrude on that head space here and you don't want somebody suffering a nasty head injury as a result. So good locker space on both sides. And above we've got Kenwood speakers as well, part of the radio system within the Sprite. And we've got nice LEDs as well. So what I will say about the lounge area is it is a good space. It's well illuminated and we do find that we've got the USBs as well. So that's the lounge. What we'll do next is we'll turn around and next thing I'll show you is the side dinette area. So I'll see you there. So here on the off side, we're going to find this side dinette and this is really good size. As we can see, it's actually a U shape. So you can sit all the way around because it does benefit from the cushion here as opposed to just the normal two opposites. So a proper good size U shape so you can sit around this table. And what I really like about the table is not only is it a good size, it moves so you can actually pull this out so people can get in and then you can slide it near it into you because a lot of these sometimes can be fixed. This does become part of the bed and I'll come to that in a minute. What I would say though is if you are using this and you're towing, I drop it down because it does drop down so it doesn't go flying over when you're towing if you have one of those unexpected moments. In terms of this, now this area does become a double bed 
and it's a good size double bed and that's a good thing I've noticed about this uh, Quattro FB all the beds are genuine good size beds they haven't just been put in there to try and make up the numbers these are proper berths so in terms of this space this will convert into a double it's going to be four foot and five inches in width and it's going to be six feet and four inches in length this way that's absolutely huge and what we find here so you open this up slide it out pull this bit down and this is going to extend this bed area out you'll drop down the table and this is a huge bed so that's really good also within this dinette area for privacy we find this curtain it's going to come out from here and wrap around all the way around as you can see to give that degree of privacy within this area as well we've got we've got storage we've got three storage cupboards and these have a shelf here in them and we do have one plug socket just here on this wall for if kids are wanting to charge things up or you're wanting to plug something in so the dinette area on the off side is really good. I do like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to venture over onto the near side and go through some of the features that we're going to find here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start above the door. So let's have a look what we're getting here. So we come in the door. It is a one piece, as I mentioned before. There's no bin entry level. That's generally fairly standard. We're going to find the control for the Truma. Now the Truma has got air blown heating and it's also going to heat your water to give you that hot water supply to the caravan. Next to it we've got our swift command panel and on here we're going to be able to control the lights and the lights on the swift are quite good and they're actually dimmable as well which that's a nice feature. It's going to tell you various things about your caravan as well such as the temperature and your battery levels and what have you. You can also operate the uh, various other bits such as your pump and your awning light from there as well so that's swift command now as we move down on the near side we're going to start the kitchen area now we have got a good amount of worktop space this is a good size kitchen we've got this large charcoal effect worktop we've got the big swift sink and this is standard on a lot of their caravans so even in this entry level you're still getting this big sink it's not massively deep but it's certainly a good size and we get the tap fixed tap and then next to it we come across to find we've got the Thetford gas oven and grill now under here first of all what we're going to find is three gas burners there's no electric ring on this so if you're using your hob you are going to have to make sure you've got your gas supply we'll bring that down we do have a little splash back here as well we then have the grill and we've got the oven and again a good thing is because there's plenty of space within this caravan there's plenty of room for me to be able to open that up I'm not bashing against a cupboard door or anything and underneath we've got some storage as well there just for extra bits so next to the oven and grill we find some storage under the sink and this is a feature I do like on the Swifts and that is the pull out drawer as well so good use of space we're going to put all our cutlery and bits in there and then underneath we've got a small rack and we've got a little bit of storage and then we've also got a cover as well for the sink that's stored under there I'll close that up and we'll move along and here we're going to find the Dometic fridge and freezer this is I believe a hundred litre capacity so not bad I must say if you've got a family of six people you're not going to get a lot of food in here you're probably going to be doing a couple of supermarket trips to be honest but we've got a good size freezer compartment there for ice creams and important stuff like that that you need when you're caravanning we've got a couple of drawers we've got the salad tray and then we've got some trays in the door so not a bad space but you know there's always a compromise in every caravan and the compromise in this one for me I think is the fridge freezer space on a six berth caravan because instead you've got these larger living spaces so now we'll move further up now 
Up here, we're going to find this small shelf. We're going to find two plug sockets. That's great. I do like to see that. So you can have a toaster, kettle, coffee machine. We've got our light switches. Then we've got a good size microwave. It's not a bad height. Um, I'm only small and I wouldn't have any issue reaching in there. So nice to see the fitted microwave. And it's also good to see that it's not situated above the hob because that for me is something I'm not a fan of. Um, as we move across, we then have a little bit of cupboard space. And in here, we're going to find the racks for plates and we've got a holder there for glasses. And then we've got another cupboard as well. And these are good size. Again, if you've got a, a family of six and you've got all that food and stuff, you're not going to get loads in there, but then you do have those cupboards over on the off side above the dinette. So they may be used for food perhaps. Depends how much food you get through. We'll close those up. There we go. And above me, just to illuminate the kitchen even more, we do find a roof light above which opens. So if you're cooking, I'd say open that up and let the food smells head out. So that's the kitchen area. And we just finish it off here with the wardrobe space. Now within here, we're going to find the table that I mentioned before for eating up front in the lounge area. We've got the wardrobe rail, good hanging space and we also find the television aerial is going to come into this cupboard as well so that's where you're going to find those bits and just below there's a really good amount of storage there as well probably for maybe the shoes or something like that for the family so that is this part of the living space as well as the curtain for the privacy there we also have a screen here, which is going to be used as a privacy curtain to come across and affix there, which is going to separate these areas here. So that's that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to move further back and show you the fixed bed and the washroom, which is over here to this side. So let's head further back. So back here, we're going to find the fixed bed. Some people call it a French bed. This is situated on the near side wall of the caravan. Now, the really good thing about this fixed bed is the size of it. In terms of its length, it's six feet and five inches in length and four feet and five inches in width. So this is an excellent size double bed as well as the other ones that I've shown you. And that's what I mean when I say that these are really good, genuine beds. So good size bed, we've got the headboard there. And as you can see, it's quite well illuminated around with plenty of lighting. Within here, there is one plug socket that's down in that far corner that I found. So I haven't found any USBs, but there is a plug socket. We've got one window there. Storage wise, now you can see we have got some cupboards. The only thing is, is to get to them, you're definitely going to have to clamber onto the bed. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to reach those in any way but it is additional storage, so it's good to see. Storage to finish off, I'll just move over onto my offside here and the offside of the caravan. Now here we've got a further wardrobe and as we can see, we've got a nice mirrored panel, so that's nice. And when I open that up, we've got a good amount of storage space. It's almost, well, it's certainly more than this, but it's, yeah, it's a good amount of storage space. And we've got the rail so we can hang things. And then there's a little bit of floor space as well below it. So when you put this and this together and those cupboards, there's going to be ample room for the family's clothing if you're going away on a holiday for a couple of weeks, whether it be that there's two of you or six of you. In here, through the magic door, this is where we're going to find the corner washroom. Now, caravans always have a compromise and even with a big caravan like this there is a compromise and like most six birth caravans it is on the washroom that said there's a good amount of floor space in this washroom so although it's a smaller space there's certainly room for everything that you're going to need so what we'll do is we'll go in and take a closer look at this next so I've come in the washroom and as I say, this is a small space, but it's more than adequate and it does the job, to be honest. So what we're we going to find in here? Well, first of all, in the corner as we come in, we're going to get a good size mirror, a nice size sink. And what I do like about it is the tap is fixed, 
but there's no intrusion from a shelving unit. So you can use the wash basin. It is a little bit narrow at one side though. Underneath we have a cupboard, so toiletries in there. Next to it, we have a toilet roll holder. We've got a little bit of shelving. I don't know what you should put that to, maybe toilet rolls when you're on site. Then we've got the Thetford toilet. Opposite, we've got the ring for a towel. And then behind me, we find the shower cubicle. Now, to be fair, the shower cubicle, it's a good size space. There's no intrusion from a wheel arch or a back bumper, so that's good. We've got a little bit of a shelf here for shower gels, um, not much else, but good size floor space and plenty of room above as well for most of the family. Um, in terms of what do you do with your wet towels? Well, there's no, I would like to have seen a towel rail maybe in here. So after you've showered, you could hang your towel up in, in here to dry it. But otherwise, we've just got a hook here. So if you were a family of six people, you might have to put a bit of thought into where you're going to hang your towels. You might be able to get something that you can sucker on in there because that's a bit of a waste of a wall, really. So, yeah, a towel rail in there would be a real added bonus. So that is the little washroom. What I will say is... While we've been doing the review, we've had the air blown heating on because it is freezing today. It's literally freezing um, and the caravan's warmed up really quickly. And this little washroom um, has, is warm as toast. So that's a, that's a really good feature, for, especially if you've got a young family on an evening having a shower. Um, the heat, the air blown heating has kept that absolutely toasty warm. So let's just go back into the lounge and do a quick summary of the Swift Sprite Super Quattro FB. So there we have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around. That is the Swift Sprite Super Quattro FB, which is quite a name. The name's almost as big as the caravan. It's eight feet wide. It's got those six berths. What I'd say is this caravan is very good for a family of four to six people. You've got various sleeping options available. You've got that dianette. There's various spaces within the caravan. £24,500 for an entry-level caravan. This is at the top end of the Sprite budget. As I say, they do start at around £19,000. they are a good budget-friendly caravan. They're going to give you everything that you need. And this one, I've been impressed with it. It's nicely furnished. It feels quite robust. It's got everything that you're going to need in it. So I have enjoyed reviewing it. It's certainly one to consider, along with Bailey and Eldis that, se that sell caravans in a similar price bracket and with similar layouts. So there we go. So what I will say is a massive thank you to Golden Castle who have allowed us to come and film today in line with current COVID guidelines. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I would just like to say, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.